I tell you guys, we have a guest in studio right here. He's been out of the scene for yes, a while. Yes, yes. But if you are a rocker, you already know who he is. Yes, he yes, has, yes. you know, a super rocker, super punk head, crazy talented, one of the best drummers we have in 254. They literally call him the octopus because I tell him he has eight hands. We only see two, but six are invisible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, help me, help me rather welcome August in studio, Ronje Rocks. Okay, I do not drums, but <laughs> yeah, you know, right? How are you? I'm How great. Have you been? I'm great. Every time we feature white, we portray. We've just been like, where is he? Like, we've been talking on the gram though, uh -huh. but it's good to have you back. How long has it been since you left Kenya? No, Rudy says you. No. Time of COVID, am I? Yeah, time of COVID. So it's been two years. That's a long time. Yeah, that is a very long time. Right. Two, two, just two years, maybe if you say two, 24 months is a long time, but two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you put it like 24 months, then it sounds like, yeah. like such a long time. But it's good to have you back in Kenya Thank right you. now. And uh, obviously, it's super amazing. Now, let's look for, you, for the guys at home. This is the first time you've come on the show. Yeah, this is my first time. We've been running for five years, and, and this is the first I'm time. I'm very <laughs> excited. You can see, I'm like, yeah, I'm I on know, TV. Right? Yeah. Thank you for coming through. So, <laughs> let's just catch up. Um, since we've never spoken about this so let's just uh, talk about it your love for rock music and mm. punk especially when did that begin like was it high school was it like way back how did that come about um i maybe way back mm -hmm. yeah i mean i started playing music and then um i was playing just church music mm -hmm. and then i got into jazz and then someone introduced me to to rock yeah. I remember my first rock MP3 was actually, uh, it had Creed and Linkin Park. Yeah. Hey, and you, started, you started well. Yeah, I started heavy. When you when go to Tunazanga, I'm really loving. No, actually, <laughs> Nap Napenda really loving, but and now, that well. was later. Yeah, that yeah. was later, and I was like, I'm listening to Dido, like mm -hmm. getting emo and stuff. Yeah. But I started heavy, mm -hmm. and then that's later on I started discovering like punk rock, like proper punk proper band punk. from the 70s. And, yeah. yeah. I super dope. And uh, drums, because you are a drummer as well. As much as you love rock music, you're also a drummer. So uh, did you go to school for that? Were you just like, did you homeschool? Did you go to YouTube uh, group of schools? <laughs> Emma, how did that happen? I did a bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I started playing, uh, of course, uh, I'm, I'm from Western Kenya. Yeah. And drums play there all the time. Yeah, as, oh, of course. Yeah, and yeah. So I, I was staying with my show show yeah. as as a tiny boy, and I started playing, you know, percussion in the village. Mm -hmm. And then later on, um, yeah, I started playing drums, um, mostly self-taught. But then later on, I I took formal lessons. Yeah, yeah, and got like classically trained and stuff like that. So it's been a journey. It's been a and whole it's still journey. a journey. Yeah, I know. And <laughs> we, you have to talk. You have to take us through the the whole journey. Below me, it's been a journey. You played for PLG, and just before you traveled, uh, shortly before you had just left Crystal Access. But before you left Crystal, you had been playing with them for a minute. Take us through that. How did the whole PLG Crystal and uh, everything happen for you? Playing with um, bands. Playing with rock bands, mm -hmm. I'd say so. My first ever rock band was called The Awakening. Yeah. And this is a band we formed back in 2007. Yeah. We were teenagers just yeah. uh, with friends of mine from church. And actually, we just used to play in church. And then someone was like, you know, there's a battle of the bands. And you have to, it's happening next weekend. I know. And you need uh, three original songs and two covers. Right. And we're just here yeah, playing like hill song music, you know. <laughs> And then, and then we decided to, uh, to, to be proactive and actually write. So in, in seven days, we wrote three original songs. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Rezoras, this club that used to be opposite. Um, uh, he knows it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, op opposite Black Diamond. Yeah. Black, yeah so, so we'd go there every Sunday. Every first Sunday of the month, we'd have Battle of the Bands there. Mm -hmm. And that's where I started playing. So uh, I was with this band, The Awakening, for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, because we were in college, teenagers, and then someone leaves as bands always happen yeah. yeah someone so, left yeah. and then and then i was vacant mm. so i started playing with uh i played a, a lot of other bands in between like last of a dying breed whatever and then i play with dove slim yeah, yeah. Slim, uh, yeah. like people all people everybody loves dove slim yeah like everyone is always like what's that song what's that leon lewis and i just everybody's like you didn't go my even non-rockers they're always curious about them yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so i play with dove slim for a while 
um, we won a few Battle of the Bands, and then and then we parted ways. The, we took a break, yeah. and then uh, during that break, PLG called me oh, to, nice. to to play with them. That was a legend. Yeah, because PLG had been making waves for a long time mm -hmm. by that time, and I was like, "Whoa, PLG wants me to play with them. I'm not going to waste right? time." So I was <laughs> there. Uh, yeah, so that's how I got involved with PLG. Um, for a while again, yeah. we, we, we did, uh, I think we were the first band, Kenyan rock band, contemporary rock band to actually play abroad. Uh, so, yeah. so we did that, came back, and then, and then later on uh, started playing with Chris Alexis. Yeah. yeah, and you've stayed with Chris Alexis for a minute. Yeah, for a, for a very long time. Yeah. All right, now, um, so I don't want to dive right into, like, Crystal Axis and, uh, like, you living and everything. But before you left, you guys had our big event in South Africa. Uh, how did that go? Because we haven't had a chance to host Crystal. We haven't talked to them about that. But mm. you played in South Africa, and you were featured in a movie as well. How? How did that happen? How do you get these connections? You, you're just like, you're on Netflix, you're in, you, you know, making moves and everything. Tell us about that. How did that come about? And how was the experience? Um, the experience was great, um, as you'd expect. But how it all came about is because uh, I, 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 do, I do a lot of artist relations. Right. Yeah, so that, that's been my job in Nairobi. Like, I, I work in media and, and the cultural space. Right. So, um, with Chris Alexis, is, um, we're just looking for opportunities, really. And I was talking to different people. Yeah. And then maybe a year later, someone I'd spoken to, through another old friend was like, yeah. oh, I know this guy who plays in a punk band. Because yeah. uh, there was an opportunity where um, this company was converting um, uh, a book by Terry Pratchett, you know, Discworld series, into, uh, into a series. And they needed a punk band, an African punk band. And we just happened to be in the scene. So it was more like uh, uh, opportunity meeting preparation. And, and, and we, just, uh, we just rode with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so let's do this. Uh, we're going to sort something out in a minute, but because we've been talking for a few, Ronjay is still here. You can send him any questions, anything yeah. that you've been, uh, you know, dying to ask him. Please do that. Get that in order. We come back and you'll let us know that. But for now, Kevin Tice plays us.